Yeah, yeah. We're uh, we're going to whiz through these numbers because um, the uh, the great hands of time have gone a little bit quicker than they should have. So anyway, um, we're very very pleased to play this uh, set for you. It's something that uh, we've always wanted to do because. Um, Oscar Elman is a very unsung hero in the world of jazz. A very unsung hero. And very briefly, he went from South America to Paris. He uh, played for Josephine Baker. And uh, he had to sit behind Josephine Baker playing his guitar every day. <laughs> while she did her dancing. And I think the epitomises more than anything the hardships that us musicians have to <laughs> put up with. Fortunately, we haven't got the dancing girls today. But uh, he made some marvellous recordings. Jakob just reminded me that his, some of his first solo recordings were in Denmark, actually. We're going to play one of them, aren't we? We're going to do one. And um, we just haven't got time to tell you about him. I'd love to tell you more about him, but we'll play the music. Um, he was, uh, this is a, a funny thing to say, this is a really odd thing to say, but if you want to know, if you've never heard Oscar Elman, if you want to know how he played, he played guitar like Django, no, if you want to know how he played, Django Reinhardt played guitar like Oscar Elman, no, no, <laughs> if you want to know how he played, he played guitar like Django Reinhardt before Django Reinhardt played guitar like Django Reinhardt. There you go, I've got it, I've got it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Did you understand that? He did it all with an enormous amount of swing, vim and vigour, and his South American rhythms and styles come out in his soloing quite beautifully. Um, so he's a treasure. And um, when the war broke out, he went back to South America and the history of jazz forgot about him. But when Duke Ellington landed in Buenos Aires in 1960, when did, seven? Thank you. 1968. I've, I've got our correspondent here. When when, uh, when Duke Ellington arrived in 1968 in Buenos Aires with his famous orchestra, he was met on the runway as he got off the plane, and the first things that the great Duke said, "Where's Oscar Elman?" Because he'd played with him in Paris in the 30s, and so he was so good. Anyway. I know. <laughs> Once I get going, that's it. <laughs> so, on the violin, the head girl of the orchestra, <laughs> we have Miss Emma Fisk. <laughs> the man with the double bass, our wonderful friend, Henri. really good friend of mine and, uh, and of the festival, a wonderful musician from Sweden, Jakob. Yeah. So we play, you, we play you Sweet Sue, I'll play you a little bit, a little bit in the style of Oscar Am, and then we'll play, um, as I say, we, we've not had much time to put this together, but we'll see how it goes.
Thank you, thank you. That was just to get us all going, and it featured everybody. Jakob playing a lovely solo there in the start. Great stuff. Um, we're also playing, uh, I mean, obviously I'm talking down this, but we're, we're not got any amplifiers or microphones or anything. We're playing acoustic guitars. It's, um, you can't do it everywhere. It's, it, you've got a very well-behaved audience of what you so you can do it. So thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, so now we play a beautiful piece of music called Melancholia, one of the... Um, one of Oscar Elman's kind of traditional numbers. Um, when he went back from uh, Paris uh, in about 1939, he recorded a lot of these these numbers. And sometimes there was a piano and a, and a drums on it as well. But uh, we play it for you just as a quartet. This is Melancholia. I'll play a little there. There you go. He used to do that. He was a dancer, and there's a. I've seen a clip of him, and he finishes a tune, and then he goes. <laughs> okay, so we will play the tune now that uh, Oscar Elman recorded. Uh, that uh, Oscar Elman recorded in, in Denmark, and um, actually had a band just like this, but he wasn't fortunate enough to have. Oh, he was on this one. He, did he have a violin on this, Jacob? Sven Asmus. No, no, it isn't. He didn't have it. He wasn't as lucky as we are, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
But uh, uh, Sven Asmussen lived to be a great age. Uh, I met him on an island in Denmark once. Yeah. He had a cigar that was that long. And he was there for three days and it was always that long. <laughs> that was it. It was the one cigar. I said to him, I've heard you on Oscar Elman recordings, he went. <laughs> so this is the Russian lullaby. Um, written by Irving Berlin about his home. We make no comment, we just play a beautiful song. <laughs>
There you go. What a wonderful solo from Emma. You know, sometimes as a musician you learn songs from records and so, uh, playing them backwards and sometimes you learn songs from the music. Um, I, I've never really learned songs from music, I've only learned songs from listening to things uh, because that's the way I seem to be programmed, you know, so I hear it and I can mostly play it, you know. <coughs> and. Uh, but it's my version, that's the thing. Um, now this song we're going to play is uh, Besame Mucho. Everybody's recorded this. We're going to play this for all you lovers out there. You are out there, aren't you? <laughs> Look at that. There you go. Well done, madam. Uh, so yeah, Besame Mucho. So we're going to play this. Uh, I'm going to sing it just like the record, and uh, I know that we have, uh, um, we're have we very honoured to have guests from all around the world. It's been a delight to see friends from all over the world, and last night I met a charming gentleman who's from Buenos Aires, and I'm going to stand up and sing this song <laughs> in your native tongue. So, would you like to leave the room now? <laughs> Maybe just draw the curtain round you so I don't so I don't see how you look when I sing this. Yes. <laughs> oh good lord. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll keep it short because I think Besame, besame mucho, 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 mucho. Como se burla, no te me ves, 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 no te me ves. Besame, besame mucho, 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 mucho. Pretendo, pretendo, no te me ves, 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 no te me ves. Ya besame, besame mucho, 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 mucho. Como se burla, no te me ves. Besame, besame mucho, 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 mucho. Pretend to pretend to be old, the ultimate best. It's the best right now. What did you do, dog? What did you do? What did you do, dog? I believe it, dog. What did you do? La 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 la. Besame, besame mucho. Come on, se fool the old, the ultimate best, a best, best, ultimate best. Best of me, best of me, mucho. Pretend, pretend, the ultimate best, la la la. <laughs> 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 well, you 
still here. <laughs> We're going to play one more. We were going to do a few more, but we're going to have to cut it short, I think. Sadly, but there we go. But we'll play one more, and it will be our, um, it will be our Herculean and Olympic um, um, kind of uh, efforts in trying to play Oscar Elman's version of Tico Tico No Fuba. Yes, yeah, so someone's heard it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll do a little intro. And then I think well, I'll see you at the end. It's my round. <laughs> How quick should we play it? Whatever you fancy. Oh. 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 How much time? Well, I have to do it even quicker now.